<laughs> After a lengthy battle of 12 years before the Canadian courts, I recognize the three lying spirits of the Book of Revelation called PMS. I wrote a book about that experience called Deception Protocol, the Prodigal Son Blueprint. Did Trump kill JFK? No, but he sure killed the American dream for many. Good morning. Today is an awesome day, but also something of a concern. And this is Br'er Caleb, PhD. My PhD stands for Post Hole Dicker, and I earned it at the Desert University. Folks, I'm not joking about this. These are serious times. When I talk about serious times, I mean there's a triple threat. PMS, and this is not what I refer to that women are dealing with every month, but I'm dealing with PMS as P for politics, M for money, and S for spirituality. Is there a satanic rebellion going on? Why am I ashamed of calling myself a Christian? For if it were not for the believers in the United States of America, we would never have seen more disloyalty under the bus throwing jackass that is sitting in the White House. Yes, folks, it is a shame. It hurts when almost everything they control you believe in. It's hurt. It hurts when you come to the understanding that almost everything they conditioned you to believe about the making and sustaining conflict in and over Palestine that become Israel is not valid. It is not true that all the Palestinians who became refugees in 1948 left the homeland voluntarily. Zionist terrorism and ethnic cleansing drove most of them out. Am I confused that Israel is used? And what is it that we are facing today? Is Israel the same as the time that Yeshua HaMashiach, who opened the way, the light, he, the one that used to recognize us, mankind, with God again? Is that Israel controlled by the true Israelis, or is it Zionism? Folks, I am concerned, and that's why I'm ashamed of being called a Christian. Because I started to wonder, what is a Christian? And when I researched it, I came to the conclusion that even that is a lie. Wow! Yes, it was a slap in my face. I thought I was just rebellious because something didn't make sense. If God is almighty and there is only one God, how come that we have a trinity? And I understand that those are sensitive issues. People don't like talking about it because if you don't talk about it, we don't know. It is actually called something else. Do you know what animal I'm referring to? An ostrich philosophy. As long as I stick my head in the sand, I have no idea what you're talking about. So it's not my problem. But folks, it is our problem when we put a jackass in the White House because Christians are the majority backers of this man. I'm not talking about a person that I call names. I'm calling the person out for what he is. And I realize living in Europe, I cannot vote, but I sure hope that the folks that are voting this time Open their eyes, open your eyes and take the veil off your eyes because someone threatens you or manipulates you. Is that the reason why you should give in? When I talk about a triple threat, P for politics, N for money, 
and S for spirituality. There is a satanic rebellion going on, and we all know it. But why? Why do I have to bring it up? If we look at today's currency, what is it? The love of God or the love of money? If we have the love of money, the lust of money, forget the name Christianity, but just the fact that the church is run by the love of money. If you give the most and the best and whatever you can give, as long as you give to the church, folks, that's not true. When I gave my heart unto the Lord, when I follow the path of God, then the Lord says, I will recognize my kids, his children. He will recognize them through what? Through the love of God that they share among them. Yes, that is the real true strength of those that are following the way, the truth, and the life. See, there is a path to God, but it is not in killing, in maiming, in destroying, in deceiving people, just so that I got the power, and look what I've done for you guys. I called Jerusalem the capital city of Israel. Wow, that is a tremendous feat. Unbelievable. You know, in sales to say, Throw enough rubbish against the wall. They usually call it something else. It starts with an S. But I don't want to say that here. Throw enough rubbish against the wall and something will stick. Doesn't that sound like what we're hearing today? A man incapable of running his own family. The Bible talks about if you want to run a church, if you want to run a and be a leader. There are certain qualifications that you need to have. Be a man of one wife, not a wine bibber. Be a man of character. Do not lie. And yet, you choose a man to run the show that doesn't know how to keep his pants together, that doesn't know which wife he has today, that doesn't understand that if all your friends or most of your friends that you appoint end up in jail, that there is an old saying that says very simple, tell me who your friends are and I will tell you who you are. Folks, being deceived, I can understand. It happens. It happens to me too. I was deceived for a long time. But now it's time to understand there's a triple threat. The P for politics. The M for money, the S for spirituality. I'm not calling out all the parties that are being used for it. I'm just talking about the main concept. If you want to read more about the tremendous satanic rebellion against God, then look at the spirit of that rebellion. They will not acknowledge God as the Almighty One. They will not acknowledge Yeshua HaMashiach. They will not act in love. They will lie. They will cheat. And if those are the characteristics, folks, then usually if the donkey is gray and the mama and the papa are gray, then the children are most likely gray. And that is the reason why you can recognize them as a donkey. Now, I'm saying it extremely nice, but I can also call it a jackass sitting in the White House called up by other jackasses. Yes, folks. If you are too blind to recognize the truth, aren't you the vine bibbers? Aren't you the people that have ticklish ears? You know that a ticklish ear is a disease, don't you? I looked it up, and I checked out what a ticklish ear is caused. And I tell you, that this means you have wax in your ears. You got to go to the doctor. And today, I am maybe your doctor to tell you those ticklish ears have to be unplugged. Yes, folks, unplugged. Isn't that a shame that you have to get oil in order to get it in your ear, to get it unplugged? And hopefully, the first treatment will work. 
But sometimes you have those big boogers in your ears and they have to come out, folks. And sometimes it feels like it's hurting. And what I'm saying right now is hurting for some people because they truly love the Lord. But you have a responsibility. You can't just be a fool and say, wow, 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 I talk to Jesus and Jesus is my friend. Satan believes in Jesus too, but he couldn't care less. So the triple threat, the satanic rebellion that's going on is tearing down the walls, tearing down the love of God. And folks, I hope that you realize I say this in love. Why am I so ashamed I ever called myself a Christian? Because I started digging. Christianity was never the way that God intended it to be. He wanted children of God that love him, that are recognized by the love of God. For the light of God, God's love, shines through us. It's not our deeds. It's not how much we give, how rich we are, and how much money and houses and, and airplanes we have. Or am I on the list of the richest leaders, spiritual leaders? I'm a billionaire. I'm a half a billionaire. Oh, I'm worth so much. Look, but I, folks, it's not about that. Because the wealth of the sinners is for us, the believers. It's laid up for us. But the true wealth comes from God. He opens the doors. He gives us peace. He gives us health. He is our provider, and God will use different sources, granted. But I don't have to go after them. I don't have to take them by force, because the force that God uses is the force of love, reaching out. And as I'm reaching out to you today, I'm asking you, please open your eyes. The triple threat I talked about is PMS. <laughs> tell you so much about politics, but it is not necessary. We know that politics are being manipulated. The money has been manipulated for many years now. Since 1920, we have seen so many changes. Money is rules set up by people that are considered to be wise men. Greedier than greedy because they want to control. And then spirituality, the S for spirituality or religion. Boy, have we seen how religion has become a stronghold with very rich pastors that will not like what I'm saying today because they care more about the money coming in than the word of God shining out through you and in your life. And folks, I hope that you get the message. God loves you, and so do I. And tough times never last, but tough people do. I hope that this is a wake-up call, PMS and triple threat, a satanic rebellion to people with ticklish ears. Get that wax out of your ears, my friend, and you will have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye for now. The pen name is of a citizen of the other kingdom, and the PhD stands for Post Hole Digger, for we will continue to dig for a proper foundation for the prodigal son and daughter.